E.W. Wiley? Yes, it is. How you doing? All right. So that's that's how I that's how I pronounce the name. Wiley. Uh huh. E.W. Wiley. Okay. Okay. You guys located where? Uh, we're based in Fargo, North Dakota. Oh, from like the movie, huh? Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is 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 it is life like that up there for real? Just like the movie? Well, I don't think so. Actually, I don't live there. I uh, work from home. I'm in South Carolina. <laughs> oh, okay. So I spent a week. I spent a week in Fargo, and it's funny because I watched the movie before I went. <laughs> oh, okay. I went up there, and uh, no, they they don't talk like that either. <laughs> they don't. They don't talk like they don't talk like Fargoans either. Uh, you mentioned, but wait <laughs> not, a minute. Wait, not, wait a minute. not quite so exaggerated. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, though. You say you you say that you are in South Carolina. So, do you actually work for the company, or are you a third party reporter? Yeah, yes. No, I work directly for E.W. Wiley. I just happen to work from home. Oh, okay. That's a long way from home. I mean, why? They did they, they or a long way from from the company. They they didn't offer no no moving expenses or anything like that. <laughs> why would I want to move to Fargo, North Dakota? Yeah, I, <laughs> I yeah. moved to South Carolina to get out of the snow. <laughs> yeah, I, I got you. I hear you. <laughs> I've actually been working from home per, for. I worked for Prime for several years from home, really? also. So, yeah. So, what's the difference between? Well, of course, you're a recruiter and you work for E. W. Wiley, so. I guess the next question will probably be a non-starter of me asking, what's the difference between Prime and E.W. Wiley? <laughs> well, um, first of all, Prime has become a mega carrier, and um, Wiley is not that. So to me, it's a lot, it's really refreshing to work for a smaller company that actually knows you by your name and respects you and treats you as a person and not as a number. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> um, all right. So can you tell me a little bit about the company and what they have to offer? Yeah, absolutely. Can I get your name? I didn't. My name's Sean. I wasn't the, I'm Sean. Hey, yeah. Sean. Thank you. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. And where do you live? I'm out of Ohio, Cleveland. Okay. Um, so tell me a little bit about your experience. I have six years of experience. Okay. Is it all flatbed? Uh, is, is, is over a lot. Flatbed, reefer, van. Okay. Great. Um, well, where do you want me to start? Uh, um, what What's most important to you? Well, no, I mean, these are just, you know, general questions that I just, that, that I just you know, conform. So we could start at the top. Uh, again, what's the company has to offer and what's the company is about, like how long the company been in existence. I only seen a few E.W. Wiley trucks and. I got a okay. I got a Facebook group that it's only I think it's only like maybe one or two drivers that's in my group that I talk to. Uh huh. Okay, cool. Well, let's see. The E. W. Wiley has been in existence since like the late 1930s. Um, currently, we're under a umbrella of Dasky Corporation. Okay. Dasky owns several smaller flatbed companies. Okay. We're a separate company ourselves. We have about 450 trucks in our fleet, but we're under the Dasky umbrella, so we get Dasky benefits and things like that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so since so the, it makes so it nice. Cause, so since the 30s. Uh, all right, and you guys are strictly flatbed? Strictly, well, flatbed, and we 60% of our trailers are step deck. And we have a glass division also that has a Conestoga trailer. We don't have do van or reef or anything like that. Okay. We have all company trucks. No, we don't do lease or owner operator. Okay. How much experience do you guys require? A minimum of six months over the road in order to get in the door. We don't do we don't start beginners here. Okay. So drivers that's that's coming out of school, uh, that will be a negative. 
and you guys exactly and you guys don't do uh would you guys be able to help them get their cdls or no no we don't do that either all right cool uh what what about the uh what about the what about the pay what where where, where do we start at the pay so somebody with six months <laughs> versus somebody with me that got six years uh, six months starts at 52, uh, six years starts at 58. Okay. And that's a mile, then that's all dispatch miles. And you guys don't, uh, and this is correct. A, okay. So me coming in at 68, that's 68, uh, not 60, you say 58, 58, right? Fifth. Yes, correct. Five my eight. Fault, my fault. I I didn't mean to uh misstate that. All right, so five <laughs> five eight coming in the door, no incentives, no no hoops to jump through. Fifty eight, fifty eight in the door, and does that include uh tarp pay and all that other good stuff? Tarp, tarps an extra seventy five dollars. Is that seventy five? tarp about. Is that seventy five dollars straight or seventy five dollars per hour? Seventy-five dollars straight okay. for a tarp, a full tarp load. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, and we provide all your tarps and equipment. Mm -hmm. That's another difference. Prime, Prime only pays fifty dollars to tarp, mm -hmm. and they make you buy all your tarps and equipment. Wow, <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, so so we we going into Prime. We we and we want to do flatbed. They do they give us any type of uh like a percent off or anything like that that's that's kind of crazy so if i decide to leave they Brian, charge about they charge about three thousand dollars for all their tarps and equipment wow. and they put it up on payments uh-huh oh wow. so and wiley provides all that for you and you get 75 dollars to tarp plus the mileage pay i can't remember what primes is anymore but um it, they pay a lot more here than they do at prime Wow, that's crazy. So if I decide to leave, does the equipment come with me? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, well, at Prime, yeah, it would, unless you wanted to turn it in for a credit, which they don't give you as much money back for it as what you paid for it. So. Okay. All right. What type of benefits do you guys offer? Uh, we have Blue Cross Blue Shield Health Insurance. Mm -hmm. There's four different plans that you can pick from. It's really good do you have any dependents for your insurance no it's just me it's, it's just me is okay it, is it well on our bronze plan we oh, pay a hundred percent of your hundred percent of your premium is paid on our bronze plan okay okay uh is, so nothing out of pocket there all right awesome uh what what other uh, what about 401k vacation mm -hmm. um, yep we have um yeah we have 401k you start um you can start contributing the first quarter after your first six months here, mm -hmm. and they match uh, up to 5% of your income, 100% of the first 3%, and 50% of 2%, mm -hmm. and you're vested right away, so that's nice. Um, okay. We've got dent dental and vision, life insurance, um, you get six paid holidays a year and a thousand dollar a year anniversary bonus. Oh, okay, that's what's up. What about PTO time? So you get a day and a half off for every seven days that you're out. So that um, if you stay out two weeks, you get three full days off at home. If you want to stay out longer and build up more time off for PTO or vacation or whatever, you can do that. And then after your year anniversary, you can get your anniversary bonus uh, around the time that you take whatever you take off so you have some income coming in for that. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so uh, what uh, is the whole, like, what lanes do you guys run? Is it like uh, all 48 states? Is this regional? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, we like run all 48 can... states in Canada. Mm -hmm. Um if you draw a line between the middle of Texas up into North Dakota, then 75% of our freight runs east of that. Okay. Uh, we're, we're not forced to dispatch to New York City or California if you don't want to go to either one of those. Okay. No. Um, <laughs> okay. And um, 
let's see here, for where you live in Cleveland, we can get you home as often as every seven to ten days if you wanted to. Okay. Now, would that be would that be home for my full, uh, like if I get home on a weekend, would that be from like Friday, get home Friday and then leave back out on Monday? Well, that would only be five days, so no. Um, we can't get you home every weekend there. It would be, you know, it's every seven to ten days. Okay. So if you go home for a reset, if it's just a reset, that doesn't count as your home time. But if you were to stay out two weeks, you, you could take three full days off. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what I was talking about uh, pretty much. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, what uh, what the equipment that you guys have and what are they governed at? We have 579 Peterbilts. They're less than three years old and come with APUs, inverters, and refrigerators, and they're governed at 65. Okay. All right. Awesome. Driver-facing cameras? No, not unless you have, um, like, cell phone or seatbelt tickets, something like that. Oh, okay. 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 Then y'all slap that camera in there so you can look at us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is the, uh, the only reason they would do that is if there's some, you know, reason that with the red flag. Right. That's understandable. What about, uh, now, I know you mentioned that it's not forced dispatch or anything like that, but for anybody that's interested in going into the Northeast, do you guys pay extra for running up there? Um, in our glass division, there's extra pay to go into New York City, mm-hmm. I believe. Let me double check something to be a uh, certain one second. Yeah, the glass division, you could move into that after 60 to 90 days, and they start at 60 cents a mile. Okay, okay. That's... And let's see. Yeah, northbound Canada and New York City Island premium pay is an extra hundred bucks. Now, now the glass uh, division and the securement on the glass is totally different than the way you would secure, you know, like regular uh, regular loads. I'm curious to know what will happen if the glass breaks. Would that be on the driver, or would that be? Uh, how, how would that how would that if you're be? negligent it would be obviously um i don't know that much about it honestly um they if you when if and when you move into glass there's a whole week of securement and glass training that you go through to teach you all of that okay is that the same is that the same thing goes for orientation for when you come in with uh, six months of experience would that be a whole week of uh, securement training as well for, you know, just the regular yeah. loads? Yeah, everybody that comes in to Wiley spends five days of orientation in Fargo. Mm-hmm. And we've got three trailers set up with the examples of the different loads that we do. And we have very thorough securement training for everyone. Someone without flatbed experience gets a little more. <clears throat> um, they, they get a different securement because they have to learn about rolling up the tarps and things like that to whereas right. if you've already been doing that you don't have to do that part of orientation but you would be doing the hands-on with the chains and things like that okay now, um now as far as orientation goes i have a three well two part now uh let me say where is the orientation will be held at how would i get there or how would you guys get me mm-hmm. there uh, and it's the pre it's the pre employment drug test urine or hair follicles and the hotel stay solo. Okay, so we it's in Fargo, North Dakota. We'll rent you a car. We pay for your gas and your hotel for the drive up. We put you up at the hotel. We provide you three meals a day at orientation. Uh, it's a urinalysis. You um, have your own hotel room. Um, we pay you a thousand dollars orientation pay after your first dispatch. We also have a five thousand dollars sign on bonus. You get a thousand of that after your first dispatch and five hundred dollars every thirty days until you get the full five thousand. Awesome. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, you, uh, yeah. All right. Um, well that's about it. 
uh, that, that's about it. I do appreciate you reaching out to me to uh, go over the questions with me. So thank you very much. Um, with the drivers, Absolutely. Do you mind? Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to ask if you mind to give me your email address. And L-O-C-K-O-U-T-M-E-N at gmail.com. Um, I was about to, I was about to ask, like, you know, I, I do have a couple of drivers that's in my group that I know that I, uh, network with and, you know, with the drivers having their own opinions on, on, on companies and stuff like that. Um, how would you guys, how would you guys retain your drivers? How would we do what our drivers? Retain them. Like, how do you, in, in other words, the short form is how do you keep them happy for not leaving? Well, you know, I've been calling drivers that I've recruited for the last couple of months to see how things are going, and the the most common thing is is they appreciate being um, being respected and that they get their home time on time. They're keeping busy. They're getting plenty of miles, and when they ask for home time, they are getting home on time. They're never late. They're not jacked around like other companies. Don't get you know they they don't get them home on time at other companies. And Wiley really does. And when you're at home, nobody's bugging you to come out and come back to work early. We respect you. You deserve that time off. Okay, that's what's up. And to me, I think that's I think that's huge. <laughs> Because yeah, that uh, that's that one thing huge. I hear I've I've heard from many drivers is that their their company doesn't get them home on time, and then when they get home a day later, they're getting called to go haul a load, and mm -hmm. you know you you need your time at home, you need that time to relax and reset and be with your friends and family or whatever it is you're doing. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, thank you very much. I really do appreciate you taking the time and, and getting back with me and going over these questions. I will definitely share this yeah. with my Facebook group. So thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Uh, that's fine. My name is Julie Jones. I'll get that emailed to you and um, share my information with your friends. I'd love to talk to them, too. I will definitely do that. I will definitely do that. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay, Sean, you have a great day. All right, now. Thanks. Bye-bye.